What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I've got a little tip for you that'll save you some time and make coding in Visual Studio quite a bit easier. Well, to a certain extent. Over here, I have my open source project, the Techno Account System, a really fast program for swapping between Steam accounts, Discord, Origin, etc, etc, if you have multiple alt accounts. If I head across to a file here that has multiple curly braces and the rest inside of the code, you'll see what I mean. Let's go across to maybe Steam. Here we go. Here's a nice and busy function. You're not too sure what's going on here and you can get a bit lost, though this isn't exactly as busy as it can get. This code is still relatively neatly organized, but it can be a hell of a lot worse. A really cool feature from an extension that I really like called Viaz Fora or Viaz Fora is that it highlights different braces in different colors so you know which brace corresponds to which instead of having to click in it to see its partner that's then highlighted. Same goes for these here etc etc. It makes life just a bit easier. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Viaz Fora by Thomas Restrepo. Add color to your Visual Studio text editor. All you need to do is either download it here or copy the name, head into extensions, manage extensions, online, and then search for Viaz Fora up here. Simply click download, wait for it to download, and after restarting Visual Studio entirely or opening the file you downloaded in your browser, you'll see that it then installs the plugin, modify, and upon next launching Visual Studio, you'll see that editing gets just a bit easier. And there we go. You can already see it's a hell of a lot prettier. All of these brackets around variables here have been changed. The ifs have been changed so that they match colors with each other. The curly braces here have been changed, but of course it can clash a bit with any custom themes you have installed such as I'm using Dracula here. It's a different color scheme. But other than the slight issue of having some things a bit too dark, it works really well. If you'd like to customize it, go up to Tools, followed by Options, and inside of here, you'll find Viaz Forum. In here, we can customize some things here, such as the medium slate blue, which for me is a bit too dark. I'll change it up to something brighter, say maybe hot pink. We can export or import themes, save the current theme, load a theme, etc, etc. There's different language options here for each different language, presentation mode, rainbow braces, which we may also want to change here from dark violet to once again hot pink to make it a bit more visible, text hiding and XML editor options here. Upon clicking OK, you can see things have been edited and it's slightly more visible now. I can tell the difference between more of these braces here, which makes quite a bit more sense. I head back to Tools Options via Fora, Import Export, save my current theme, as say car, and load theme. In my downloads folder, I have a file that I've just opened up, and it's a Dracula theme that I found on a GitHub repo somewhere. It's supposed to match the rest of the colors here, and it does a pretty good job of doing so, I would think. Nice muted colors that's, that's not too distracting, but of course makes life quite a bit simpler. Now, of course, this may be way too colorful for you and you're able to customize it as you'd like. Otherwise, you can just leave it. How exactly I found this custom theme was Googling for Viz4 Dracula, where I came across this GitHub repo over here, opened up the raw content by clicking raw, saving this file as .vsf theme, and then opening it up in the options of VS Fora. Super simple, and it works just really well. I really like the code highlighting here. It makes life quite a bit easier, and hopefully it does for you as well. Though, if it's too pretty and colorful for you, you can always go back or customize it further towards what you like. But anyways, that's about it for this super quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.